And to a warning from a worried mother, she says her son recovered from coronavirus, but then began suffering confusion, hallucinations, and outbursts. CBS 2's Rick Montanez explains what could be causing this drastic change. Doctors believe he's experiencing COVID psychosis. Doctors say they're seeing more cases of COVID psychosis, and they blame that on the more infectious Delta variant. Two, three, say happy birthday, Daniel. COVID outbreak. 15 members of one family contracted the virus, they believe, from an indoor birthday party. That was in mid-June. Now, <coughs> the youngest of the group, Daniel Salinas, is still suffering. His mom says shortly after he recovered from COVID, she began to notice his behavior change. She says last Monday, he suffered a migraine. I felt like he had that severe migraine, slept, and woke up different a different person, someone who's more agitated, angry, you know, anxious, but he that's the total opposite of my son. The next day, she says her younger son called her in a panic. He goes, mommy, something's wrong with Daniel. He's acting crazy. He's talking to himself. So she rushed Daniel to UCI Medical Center and eventually he was transferred to Chalk Children's Hospital for care. Doctors are running several tests to understand the drastic change in behavior. You thought you survived COVID, but you're not thinking about the after effects of COVID. You know, we're learning something new from COVID every day. Dr. Michael Daniel is an emergency room physician. He says he's seen COVID psychosis before, usually in adults who are long haul patients. But for children, it tends to show up sooner, he says, like with Daniel's onset one month after contracting COVID. I think that their brains are just more susceptible to inflammation in the central nervous system, which is leading to these cases of psychoses in kids. Wilma Singh says she's sharing her family's story as a warning. She wants parents to watch for these less frequent, but just as dangerous results of a COVID infection. I want parents to know that it's very important to avoid getting COVID. You know, I know you want to be out there, but it's not worth it. The family isn't sure how much longer Daniel will be in the hospital. They say doctors are planning more tests later today. In Orange, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News, this morning.